Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, what I'm going to be talking about is like um, in DC, it's been it's February, almost March or whatever, and it's been a lot of murders. And this one particular murder that me, that has me baffled is it was three young men in DC. I think one was like 20, 21, and I can't think of one of the other one's um, age, but they would go around D.C. robbing people and, like, making accounts on offer up, acting like they wanted to buy stuff, and, you know, I guess getting whoever they wanted to, um, supposedly was going to buy stuff from, would get them to meet them at a certain place in um, D.C., and they would rob their asses. And so, I'm not sure how many times they did this, but they did it a couple of times. And the last time, and I think I'm going to call this video, When the Robbery Goes Wrong or something along those lines. Because the last time, they set someone up and this guy came from Virginia and was beating the three guys over in D.C. somewhere. And so, when the guy came from Virginia whatever... They didn't mention what the transaction was going to be, but they tried to do the transaction and the young men tried to rob the guy who came from Virginia and, and not to mention that this guy had a purple heart on his license plate. So I'm thinking even though y'all might be, you know, y'all wouldn't pay attention to the purple heart on the license plate and think, you know, maybe I'll have second thoughts about this. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. And so the guy... We'll call him Purple Heart because I don't know his name. They didn't say his name. And Purple Heart fought and wrestled a gun away from the three guys. And he shot all three of them. One was shot in the ankle. One was killed. And I'm not sure where the other one was shot. And they turned themselves into the hospital. And usually when you and turn yourself into the hospital, I guess, I know in D.C. and Maryland, when you turn yourself in the hospital and you got a gunshot, they go notify the police. And you know what I'm saying? And so... The guy killed, you know, one of the young guys. I think his name was Danny. And they killed, he killed him. And it's this certain page on Instagram. And it tells you of all the murders in D.C. And they even had one for murder, like Montgomery County and PG. And, but it's just getting started or whatever. And they report all the murders that happened whatever. And so anybody that gets killed in D.C., if you go to this, this page in, on Instagram... You will see it there. And so a lot of people follow that page, whatever. And so um, it was one guy on that page, and he was like, hey, that's a little shorty that robbed me about two months ago. And so when he said that, it was so many people that came up on his comment and was like, you hot, and you a snitch, and why you saying something, and this, that, and you know. And so the guy was like, I didn't say anything. I went ahead and gave my $300 up or whatever, and my life wasn't worth it whatever I'm just saying that he did this to me two months ago and it's shaking my and he said shaking my head it's sad that now he's dead from doing the same thing that he was doing two months ago and you know there was other people who was calling him that knew the guy that was in the wrong because to me if you live by the gun you are going to die by the gun if you live that type of life, lifestyle that's a lifestyle that's going to catch up with you if you're not if you're not for the streets then don't be in the streets because the streets don't love nobody so, when you know your loved one is in the streets or whatever, and they're doing wrong, and they get caught up, and they make it onto this murder page, whatever, and people saying that's what he get, he was robbing people, and then, but this guy who was like, you know, he did it to me or whatever, people was calling him sweet, and that's what the fuck you get for being sweet, why are you saying something now, why you ain't doing nothing then, or whatever, and it was so many people taking up for the guy who died that was robbing the person, and it was, it was just crazy, and then there was people threatening the guy, you know, and he was like, no. And all these people was like, I mean, it was so many people saying that this is my cousin and right or wrong, I'm a ride for him or whatever. And when these people out here robbing and killing and everything, they're not thinking about 
if they get killed or whatever, how my family will feel. And I'm going to make it on this page. Or I'm going to make it somewhere. Or people will have thoughts and be like, or find out what the story was or whatever. And be like, you know, because your family might know another side of you that's supposed to be a good side. But when you get caught and you've been known for sticking up people or robbing people who work hard for whatever it is they have or whatever, no one doesn't know that side. All they know is the side that, you know, and people like, he was a good kid. He wasn't like that. And if you don't, if you, you don't know what happened, shut the fuck up and all this other stuff. And it was like, people was taken up for this child and it was unfortunate whatever because the way they were riding for him while when he's dead where were you all at when he was out there robbing people nobody didn't tell him that if you keep on robbing people it's going to catch up with you and one day the shit is going to be flipped on you and you might not just make it out whatever i mean i don't understand whatever so it was crazy to me and i just wanted to talk about that because and then for the loved ones to know about this page or whatever and then to see that loved ones end up on this page. And you know, people go, you know, people will talk. When people on the internet, they get to say whatever and they can say whatever because it's their opinion and everybody has one. So when you go on this murder page, whatever, and you know some people will say some wild shit and you go on there to hurt yourself even further when your loved one caused all this hurt and pain to begin with. And if your loved one wouldn't have did what they did, they wouldn't end up on this page. So you wouldn't have to feel the way you feel. And that way you wouldn't have to defend them and tell them, you know, they wasn't like this because all the public see is this side. And you was at this scene and you got killed because you were trying to rob somebody and it was either you or them. So nobody sees that good side of whatever your loved one is saying because you got caught up doing something you had no business doing. But anyway... I just wanted to talk about that because, yeah, I feel like talking about that. And, um, y'all always stay unapologetic to you because I'm going to always, always be unapologetic to me.